How's it going guys? My name is DMG Phonics and today we're playing something other than the forest in this game here now guys we can explore vast environments solve puzzles try to locate people to help us solve the mystery welcome to Kona guys Carl Faubert, private detective, had just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote middle-of-nowhere area, situated near the far northern Lake Atamibek. Granted, this was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Kona. Now, this game is something a little different than The Forest. Uh, now, I think this game is some sort of a mystery game. You have to solve a lot of mysteries, and it is also a puzzle game. Now, this game is uh, early access at Carl the minute. Carl had to drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. Right, so we are here at the rest point. We have to go all the way up here. That is fine. As I said there, now this game is available on Steam. At the minute, uh, early access. Yeah, can I pick that up? I put the map away. There we go. Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. Pack of cigarettes. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. So, let's continue on, guys. And let's just go into the car. See? Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Okay, so there is a barrier over here. So we have to lift this somehow. Right, so we have to get something to open this gate. So we're looking for cutters or something like that. Let's see what's in over here. A glass bottle. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we've got something here, some sort of box. There we go. Cutters and looks like matches. Alright, so let's just continue on down here. So we've got the cutters now for the actual truck. Well, no, sorry, the, the barrier. Okay. Let's have a wee look around. Is there anything up here? Not once before had Carl imagined he would one day drive past Shibugamu, further away to the north. Can we go this way? The point of no return had been crossed already. Carl shouldn't turn around now. Besides, his rendezvous point was close by. Okay. So we can't go that way. There is an invisible wall. Ah, so let's go ahead and get this cut. Carl was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. The cutters made quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes, Carl the professional vandal thought, reveling in the irony of the situation. There we go. Uh, is there anything in here, first of all, before we go? I think we've got everything anyway, so... A rock right there. Always striving to uphold uprightness, Carl, feeling the need to appease his guilty conscience, left a $10 note as damages. Oh, 
Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Right, let's go ahead and jump in our truck. Onwards and upwards. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forest. Not too far from here. I'm not a great driver to you guys, so... Just the local you. populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. And we have snow. Oh, can't even can barely see where I'm going. Carl was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow, which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Now this game is set in October 1970. Um, I think I'm some sort of journalist or something, I'm not too Hamilton sure. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Whoa, it is very, very hard to see. God damn. Whoa. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Now this game is available uh, on Early Access on Steam. Uh, it also is available for... Oh, right there. Hi, uh, Linux. Alright, I must be nearly there now. Come on. So we're going to some sort of general store. Um, whoa. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Yeah, the guy narrating the scheme, his voice is incredible. Is that last night? Oh. Some serious glitch there now. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Stop. Got it the same. And we are here. Right, let's have a look around this place first of all. So there, get some petrol. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. Okay. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Sounds familiar. Okay. Let's just go ahead and go inside. See what's about. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. This place is a mess.
Maintaining his composure, oh, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Right, okay. So this place has been abandoned for quite some time. Down here. Okay. Let's go back inside again. Footprints. Here's some sort of generator. Can we turn this on? Oh. Oh, okay. So we need we need a, we need tape and pliers. Right. Let's go back in. Gilles Lachance, Carl recollected, was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Oh, can we go up these ladders? Back down in the dark and recommend to use your flashlight. Okay, which one is my flashlight again? There we go. Some music. Doesn't work. Finding a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. A tape, some matches. Is there something else in there? Nope. You don't leave ammunition out in the open like this? Was Gilles Lachance that careless? Is there anything else I'm missing here? Sort of code for this, maybe. Uh, let's go back, right? Right, so is everything here? Anything else lying about? Uh, let's see. Jesus, what the hell happened in here? Whatever happened here, things got pretty rough, and not a trace of Hamilton. Oh, was that a drink? Okay, right. Read that before. We away. I think that's everything. Let's go now and unlock this. Let's put that away. what we have in here what the hell happened here wait what are we looking for what are we looking for in here don't know what that was pliers oh, that's what we need for right there Video. 
Put everything in here. That's everything in here. Let's go get this generator going. Get some petrol or some diesel or whatever you call it. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Right. Let's go back. Let's see. Do we have to turn on the pumps over here that I see? Yeah. There we go. Pump two. Well, this open now. Right, don't need that torch, put you away. Don't see saints. The Plouffe family. The old black and white show from the 50s related the ups and downs of a typical family living in Quebec City in the aftermath of World War II. It was like the Adams family, minus the macabre and a walking hand. All right, let's get this filled up. And we will be on our way. Because I still, I'm not too sure what is going on yet with this game, but the story will unfold as we continue on. Sauce. All right, guys, we'll continue on here, and I will see you in the next episode. Just to see this, see, this no, this game seems pretty good so far. Um, but yeah. The story will unfold and thank you very much for stopping by this episode guys and as always I'll see you in the next one.